Hi, I'm Guthrie. Today I'm going to gab about how do you manage your pay without school. Once you start teaching, that money starts rolling in. How do you handle finances? How do you keep up with, you just got paid, you just got paid. Before I start into that and how I manage my payouts without school, I want to remind you that if you are interested in help with curriculum, with writing your lesson plans, with applying to out school and preparing your application video, I am available to coach and mentor people. Please reach out. You can reach me at guthriegabs at gmail.com and I'll put a link below. I also have a freebie classroom lesson plan that OutSchool has given you the template but what I've done is I've gone in and written some comments advice that I would give on how you can use that template to help you develop your first lesson. So what do I do? Now that I've been working for OutSchool for a few months I used to get and I still do I get so excited when I see a link come up in my email you've been paid you have received money from OutSchool and I check in my PayPal account and I see it. And so what I realized I want to do is I needed a way to keep up because while our school takes 30% of our set class price for themselves, for marketing, for the platform, for Zoom, we are still responsible to pay taxes on the income that we do receive as payment from our school you will not receive a W-2 from our school. You are responsible as an independent contractor. First advice is talk to an accountant. If this is a change in your financial system at home, if you are having an increase in pay or maybe you've quit working in the sticks of bricks classroom and you're now adjusting to working at home, this is going to possibly change your finances and tax situation for the year. The recommended amount is 25 to 30%. That is the recommended amount. Honestly, we should also be thinking about, do you want to invest in a retirement fund because you are an independent contractor and retirement funding is on you? We are eligible for Roth IRAs and other IRAs that you can talk to with an accountant that can benefit you as far as your taxes and future retirement income. So you should be shooting for between 25 and 30 percent on average. Every family is different. So what I have started to do is I wait to the end of the week. I gauge what my payouts are going to be from the week before and I t monitor them throughout the week but I typically wait till midweek or the end of the week and I make one final deposit into my bank account and then in my bank account I have it split between checking and savings and I go ahead and I pull out that 25 to 30 percent typically 30 percent of my out school payout goes directly into savings and that way the rest of the money that I've been paid from out school is available for my use in checking to pay bills and whatever I need to do with that it's important to keep up with this and it's great that out school now has on our dashboard the income that we have so far. Out, uh, PayPal will give you a receipt once you've reached a certain amount and I'm afraid I don't have the amount. I'll add it below when I in the comments when I research that again. So you want to keep up with the income that you're having and so you can do that by checking through PayPal and looking at the payouts and then because I am now doing weekly deposits from out school into my banking account it's easy to look back at my activity and simply add up for the month this is what I made and that way you can put that into Quicken Books you can just keep a spreadsheet for it you can have that information to hand to your accountant at the end of the year the more that you are prepared the better off you're going to be come tax time there's also the opportunity to pay quarterly income taxes so if you are an independent contractor you can go to irs.gov and look up independent contractor and there is a form that you can send in quarterly payments. The biggest thing you want to make sure is that you do not owe more than a thousand dollars from your out school work at the end of the year. If it's your first year you have a little bit more of a forbearance but 
if you owed last year and then you're in that same boat again, you could get penalized. So the best advice is always talk to a tax accountant. I am not a tax accountant, but just making you aware that we do need to be thinking about income taxes. We don't know what next year is going to bring. bring. We may be looking at taxes in April. We may have more forbearance into the summer like we did this year in 2020. But we need to be looking ahead to paying taxes in 2021 on your 2020 income. And yeah, you know, that's how they always work, right? It's the year before. So just be mindful. If you haven't been saving any money on taxes, it's easy to do. Go back into your PayPal account and look at the out school payouts, add those up and figure out 25 to 30 percent of those that should be set aside as best practice for income taxes. Again, always talk to an accountant. They would love to hear from you after tax time, which is what it is. They're not as busy and they could probably sit down with you and your family situation and find out what's best for you. Till then, happy teaching.